everybody welcome back to the cobblestone chronicles as always this is Zuljin. i am at my sand quarry out here where the jungle and the jungle temple was at which i really need to make a track down here because it takes so long to get here walking but as you can see i am setting up for some sand harvesting i think i've decided to use the sandstone half slabs for the roof in the new tree form that I built and I did a little bit of work out there I was kind of trying to see how the vines would work so I had to let them grow and naturally there was so much stuff uh, so much time they still haven't grown all the way those darn vines but I figured that I would work while I was waiting on them so I could show you guys a little bit of that footage of what I did while I was waiting uh, just a few things to note I revamped the way the the older tree forms were so that it would give more of an open look and uh, I started on the little plaza naturally I saved all the good aesthetics work for the recording because I really don't know how it's gonna come out uh, aesthetics on camera is a little bit hard because you end up making a bunch of mistakes you try something out and you don't like it and you try something else and you don't like that <laughs> but it's gonna work out fine uh, and excuse me guys my, my nose is killing me this morning my sinuses are crazy so if I sound bad I'm not sick I'm not dying just uh just a little sinus problem that's what I get for smoking all these years which I don't smoke anymore I quit but it still haunts me every day <laughs> so but here's some of the footage that I took and um, I hope you guys enjoy it
All right, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I did a little bit more than I wanted to in time lapse format, I guess. But it was. I, I just wanted to show my work and and see, let you guys see my my. Uh, I guess my method of of logic when it came around to doing what I did. I don't know if I'm gonna go any further with the sandstone plaza. Golly, these guys are getting rough. I waited a little bit too long to come out the quarry. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to get the plaza a little bit further out, but my whole idea is just to make that whole craftsman's district look uniform. So that was my logic behind putting the sandstone where I put it and 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 also running the roads where I did, even though I said I wouldn't do what I did with the roads. Right now, the vines still aren't all the way grown. Man, these things, some of them take so long. I can always do implants. I suppose I could do that. Let's see how that works out. So yeah, changed up, also duplicated the entrances on both sides just so it would have more of an outdoor feel because I really like the way this came out. The vines, I don't know how I like them. I think I'm going to have to look at them in the normal texture pack to make sure that um, I can tolerate this build. And I needed to do this, which was pretty much necessary due to the fact that the vines wanted to grow all the way down and block the doorway, and I didn't want that. Also added some pressure plates so that you can worry about not worry about going in or out, you know, and keeping the door closed behind you. But I really like the way the plaza came out and the way the road runs. I think if we go out any more for the Craftsman's District, if I think of anything else that I'd like to put in here, it's going to be in that area that I flattened out and a little bit further. Because where this is, I might just do some decorative type landscape and stuff. And where the base is, I'm almost sure that eventually this whole area from the base onward down there all the way that runs on the side of the uh, of the market district is going to be a residential district you know apartments and all this stuff uh, for villagers and just to populate that whole area I think that would be a pretty cool idea as far as this the courtyard is probably going to change just a little bit I'm not real sure and I want to get the base more uniform with the house all of these form areas and stuff like that man I got creepers on me I really need to get my butt to bed this is what I think I need to do this creeper was dancing going crazy it's, he must he must be a part of creeper so anyway guys that's where I'm at um, I'm gonna refine some of these ha the sand in the sandstone and get some half stuff half slabs and I'm going to go work on that roof when it's daytime. So I'll meet you guys up there. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. We are right on top of the tree form. And my first idea is to come up over two like this. And the reasoning behind this is the building is so large. I want to give it the, like, I guess a wider roof just to show. And not to mention, this whole middle here above the glass area is going to be glass. It's just so you can still get the sunshine coming in. I think that'll be a good addition. I think I need to build a little crafting table up here. So I can, I can do all my stuff. Let's see. Let's put it right here so I can get on it. So I can actually use it as a stepping stool too. And let me put some half slabs to work yeah so i started all the sand that i mined actually i went in to put it as glass because i still have quite a bit in the base so that'll do but yeah the uh the residential district y'all i'm thinking some apartment complexes uh maybe some different i don't know what you'd call it I guess a few different apartment complexes, some real nice ones, some ritzy ones, because I've been dying to do some design work lately, like some interior type stuff and just some, some cool builds that don't really have functionality. I've been looking at the practical aspect of Minecraft, I guess, so long. <laughs> I'm just wanting to do something a little bit different. So I still have am liking the functionality and 
especially with the redstone and stuff because this has been a learning process that I'm, I'm really enjoying but I really believe that it's time to do some some pretty stuff because back when I was making my house itself I really enjoyed that uh, messing around with furniture and just getting a homey feel to things so I want to do a little bit of that as well but I don't think we're gonna have time for that in this season simply because yeah, we are coming to a it's coming really fast to episode 100 it's gone a little bit faster than I had planned and I still need to get a few items out in the market district uh, I have a few builds specifically in mind for that but after that uh, if we want to go to the end and get that started at least to kill the dragon uh, I, I really need to get started on that. I need to ramp up some, um, get some armor and some enchantments done, which is going to require a, a quite a bit of off-camera stuff, which I haven't really had time to do lately. I have plenty of time for Minecraft. It's just I've been having extra projects to the side, like Grimrock, uh, Diablo is going to be coming up, which I did that little um, LP on the beta weekend. And um, one of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to is maybe a spot on the servers, the building server or the fan server. I entered some contests, you know, and today is, you guys are probably going to see this Monday. And I really, really, really uh, am anxious to hear the results for the winners. I know quite a few people in there too, so if I don't win, but they get some spots on it, I'll be real happy for them too. I'm just anxious about the whole event in general. Uh, the the project that I put up there was the, the revolving lighthouse, which <clears throat> I don't know, I thought it was pretty good, but compared to some of the other stuff that I, I saw up there, it really could have used some more finishing touches with the video i had already put that video out and i wanted to use it simply because i had a lot going on at the time and i wanted to keep everything flowing well but really and truly guys the idea behind that revolving lighthouse was uh i thought it was a pretty good one you know i just had no idea that i guess i just wanted to put it out without without waiting too long but I watched B00's last video and he was like, you know, you guys should have worked on your stuff all week, which is true. You know, I could have done a lot more stuff and got a really, really refined finished product or at least a, a, a good looking lighthouse. But I'm, I'm satisfied with with my try. I'll know next time the preparations that I that I can take versus what I did take will dramatically increase on any kind of contest like that. And it is only creative anyway, which y'all know me. I'm I'm the survival type. I really could have used the exposure, but if I don't win, it's not a biggie. I'm not going to be uh, distressed, especially since I know that if I did, I was totally outclassed by some of these guys on the internet. So um, anyway, I'm happy about that. I think it'll come out fun, and I'll still have the fan server shot anyway, and that ought to be fun too. Those guys on the fan server have a real good time. Uh, they do ultra hardcore, and that's something I've been wanting to get into lately. Um, you know, but I haven't had time really. But I'll make time if the opportunity presents itself in uh, in a right way. You know, so. So yeah, we're gonna continue on this little trend for the roof guys, and I think I'm gonna come up one more right here like with a whole block of sandstone I think that's gonna be the idea that I go for and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go at least three tiers it depends how far this reaches in over the glass because I want to keep the view from the glass straight up and down so I'm gonna play with this for a few minutes guys and I'll show you where I'm at in a second we'll be right back okay guys I just wanted to give you a quick update as you can see here I'm going for the second tier and what I did is I just run strip a double wide strip of sandstone all the way down and I am placing upside down or top side half slabs of sandstone for the second layer to give it you no know, a little bit more vaulting and a little bit more depth I think I'm gonna do that at least one more time and it shouldn't cover up any of the glass. That way I can come with the entire center of glass, which I have some cooking. So 
I should have enough for that, but uh, it's taken a lot more sandstone than I thought it would. Uh, I don't, I should be able to have enough, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough for the plaza, so I might have to go and mine a little bit more. Not real sure. Or turn some of the sand that I've saved up that isn't turned to glass yet into sandstone. So either way, but I wanted to show y'all, this is, a, it's a more labor intensive method, but it's a lot more conservative i suppose because when you when you double when you use half slabs you get doubled blocks so i am covering just as much area as i would with sandstone using half the blocks that it would take to use full sandstone so anyway i just wanted to give you guys a quick little update and show you where i was at and we'll bring you back when i'm a little bit further in be right back all right guys i went ahead and got some glass ready more glass i started putting glass on there but i had ran out but we had plenty of sand and we had plenty of coal that fortune three pick y'all with coal oh my lord <laughs> i get so much of it it's it's not even a problem anymore okay so we need to climb up and i'll show you what i did i have i had to go one more tier which i don't like the way it looks as much from the inside but it was necessary because just like the other roof, I believe I did the same thing for these. When you just go the first tier down, the glass sticks up. So if I would have just left it right here and started the glass here, then I would have had a half a block worth of glass sticking out. And I just didn't like the way that looked. So I had ran out, but here we are with the last few steps of it. And I think I love the way it came out. The vines still haven't grown all the way, but it's very, very nice looking. There's still a little bit of spawn up here, which I'm not too in love with, so I might drop some more torches. But other than that, the build is pretty much complete, y'all. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and it's really, really functional. So I think I'm going to keep it mostly in pine mode, but I might just do half and half with birch. I still have a lot of birch left, but every once in a while... I'm going to harvest it off camera just to fill up my wood supplies to where when we start on the market district, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be rocking. But in the rest of this episode, what I want to do is just do a little bit of aesthetics works in the plaza. I have a couple of ideas that I'd like to try just to make it like an open feeling, kind of like that that spot in the mall or that spot around the office buildings that you see where, you know, people are drinking coffee and sitting on benches and reading the paper or taking their lunch break or their smoke breaks or whatever. I want a place like that. Uh, I don't know what I really am aiming for as far as the feel of it, but I just want it to be nice and I want it to be a little spot that uh, is is pretty, you know, that when you come in, you can just say, ha ah. So <laughs> anyway, that's the aim of it. So I'm going to go back down, get some more materials, you guys, and I'll show you what it looks like from down below and we'll get some stuff ready for the plaza. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I got a little bit of materials to start with. And I think the first thing that we want to go with is maybe some seating area, like some benches and stuff. So, I think I'm going to try some stuff with stairs. I'm going to need some half slabs for sure, which I already have that. Let's see what kind of wood we're going to use. We're going to use regular wood. Yeah, we got some of that already. Let's put these fence posts up for now. And we're also going to need some signs. Do I have any sticks? No. Let's take some birch to make some signs with. Okay. Now, we haven't implemented the new snapshot, but I think I'll be satisfied with the color of the wood that I'm going to use. So let's go with some wood first off. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that'll work for either. Okay. So let's do some of that, and let's make some stairs. And then we're going to go with some half slabs. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. There. Okay, now we're going to go with some half slabs. Well, maybe I need a little bit more birch for that, huh? There. 
and voila, perfect. Okay, we'll try that out now. And I guess we can make a seating area here. Let's, let's, let's try a few things with this first. I'm gonna go, it's five. Five by three, let's start with that and see what that looks like. Yeah, the very center is still intact. That's what I want, like a two wide pathway with no obstruction would be fine just to be able to swoop down the middle. And you see how that's three, four, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Well, it's a little off, but hey, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to need to do some... Let's see how I'm going to do this. It's going to need to be all wood. But we're going to run some stairs. And the last two, I believe just to get it right okay and we can run stairs like this 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 all right now oh actually that's not what I wanted where's my axe there we go here is going to be half slabs. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Now that's still not what I want. <laughs> if we do... Yeah, I won't be able to do that way. What we need to do is change out the rest of this to wood as underneath. I think that's what I wanted to do. I don't know. It's hard to remember. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, actually, I think I was right the first time. Let's put those in. And we're going to make these stairs again. Yeah, now I remember how to do it, you guys. Like I said, aesthetics on camera. <laughs> All right. Now let's make a few signs. And I got plenty space. I need to take some of this out of my inventory. And if we go with some sign sticks there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Now we can go with these. Where's my other wood? I knew I had some there. And let's go one more. Plenty of this wood. I just don't want to fill up my inventory. I don't even know if I'm going to like this design, but I want to try it. Okay. There we go. And let's do signs right on top to emulate seat backing should I do it here which which way are they gonna face let's see yeah so that's like a park bench okay and the rest of it I believe we might be able to do sandstone with it let's see No, it's gonna look it's gonna look pretty weird if it's uh I think it's gonna look pretty weird with sandstone here, but we're gonna try it anyway. Actually it's not it's not half bad. Yeah, that's a pretty cool look. Okay. For the bench. Now I'm actually gonna have to place signs on the outside too to make some arms for it, I believe. We're gonna try that. Actually, with stairs, maybe. What happens if we place a whole wood block? Let's try that. Whole wood block, nope, it's not gonna line up right. 
and stairs actually won't either on this particular design. Hmm. Let's see. If we went with sandstone half slabs to make this a full slab, what would that look like? Actually, that isn't too bad either. Let's go all the way around and see how that looks. Actually, that looks pretty cozy. Let's do full. I hear something walking. It's probably underneath me. Let's go with full bench seating. Let's see what that looks like. No, I don't think I like the way that looks. But we could possibly do that, that. What about that? Seating. Uh, we're gonna get to where we like it one day, you guys. No, nope, that's definitely not what we want. <laughs> no, that's just kind of looking like stairs more than anything. Okay, tear that down. We'll try this something else. <laughs> All right, that's better. I think we need some sort of awning, guys, to make it look like a seating area. So. Let's change these to full slabs. And maybe put some fence post on top of it. Let's see, can we go three? I think three ought to be a good, good fit. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good height. Two, three. And let's see, can we come over with Maybe some upside down stairs. Okay, let's try a few things actually. What happens when I throw some upside down stairs on these things? Should we make it wood? Well, it's pretty much the only thing that we can make it out of. Let's see. Upside down stairs. No. Not that way for sure. Mm-mm. No, I don't think so. Actually, that's not half bad. But maybe we should do it one higher. What do y'all think? Let's just try it. pull doesn't really line up. Hmm. It lines up enough. Yeah. I like the way that came out. Alright. Now. Should we do any back to it? Any kind of back at all? I wonder if... We can't go narrow, so that's the only bad part about that. What happens if we did something like this? Oh, that connects. I don't think I like that. No, I don't like that. I don't want it to connect like that. So if we did regular sandstone like this, what would that look like through there? Hmm. The designs are kind of going all over the place now. That's a little bit too much. I don't know what the heck that looks like, but <laughs> it actually looks like it would be a pretty cool fireplace. All right, so take these out of the picture. All right, so we still got this. Actually, that's pretty good. I wonder, I can think I can attach signs like this to make it come all the way down. I don't guess I need a backing. They already have a chair backing of sorts. So, I wonder if I can do, I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try. No, I can't do a sign right here. And if I do a sign on the outside, at the top, nope, I'm not gonna do that either. Actually, I think I kinda like this design. I think I'm gonna go wood right here though. 
Let's go with wood, full wood blocks. And let's see. Yeah, I suppose that is pretty cool, you guys. that no not really <laughs> okay we're back to square one I think what I'm gonna do is come out with the awning a little bit and maybe give it another rail so let's take another crack at this how about if we did that yeah but the stairs look funny now. And if I come out with a half slab. Oh, I know. Let's make it look like the fence is supporting the larger part of the stair. The taller part of the stair. Okay, I need to put some dirt down right quick. Let's see. Dirt. Dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, now how does this look? Oh yeah, <laughs> I like the way that looks. Let's try stairs here. Perfect, make sure there's no creepers around. <laughs> I shouldn't be building at night like this, but alright. Let's come out with another one just like that. I'm not going to be able to do stairs in the middle, but maybe I could do the half slabs in the middle like that. Oh, I kind of like that, y'all. Yeah. I like the way that looks. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I need to place upside down half slabs. So I need these. How's that look? Oh, that looks so chill. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. We just kind of found a new design by accident, you guys. <laughs> just letting our creativity flow. Huh. Yeah. Absolutely. I like that. All right. Actually, I'll need to... Uh, now I'm going to need to take down those two blocks of dirt. If I can get to them. Oh, yeah. I can get to them from this side. All right, I think I'm gonna do this same deal on the other side, you guys. Let me do that right quick and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, it's daytime. We got the little seating area duplicated on this side. I don't know if we should double it just like that. It's symmetrical, I guess you should say. It's the same even spacing on both sides but I'm not so sure it needs more than one of these features, especially since I'm not in love with it. I like it a lot, but it's still, it's hard to emulate what I'm actually going for. Um, still want a couple of things, maybe some more benching in the area, maybe a water feature, not real sure, maybe just some intricate pathing. I just want it pretty, you know? I want it to be like a real nice area to walk through here when you come in to get your tree trees formed but other than that I'm pretty happy with it guys we got a ton of roof work done we got these opened up to where they're a lot more roomy and if we come out way out here I really like the roof setup how it came out it's really hard to see I guess I should have went back there when you're um, when you're at base but you can see the depth when you're all the way at base it's kind of hard to tell when you're up close like that but it uh, it came out pretty good. The vines are growing on me. I'm not too sure if uh, if I'm in love with them or not, but it is a very unique design, so I'm gonna stick with it. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if we had to chop them all down. So you guys just give me your honest opinion about that. Tell me how you feel. Does it stink? Does it not stink? Do you love it? Do you hate it? <laughs> and also, what else can go in the plaza if you'll have some ideas? I love how you can see the sunset through the tree form like that. That's so awesome. We're going to cut the episode right here, you guys. 
I'm satisfied with the work that we got done today, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, this is Zuljin signing off, and have a good one.